Karantz, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mine shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renagse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Let's go. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? <sighs> Not really, Father. My name is de Sardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bloodnet. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the Light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Val Ristel. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the Light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Ezeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? No, nothing new. Sorry. Continue searching.
Here is the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadik's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the Keepers of Promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it. Like no one's there, but the door's left open. <sighs> Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. A sculpted, engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. It's as if someone wanted to meticulously destroy everything in this workshop. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this, we must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Barayag Nodas, Doncas's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigido, and we'll find out. What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them. Throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaesrad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Qua Awalam Seg.
He's over there. Siora, Bertir to mad, Donegad. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free, and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the Keepers of Promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you are a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadeg. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaigs, isn't it? We should never have accepted to seal such a promise. We did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. The Rinaikse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life, and because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the Rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The Rebels? The Donea Exregao. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you find them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, Take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Donegad. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to his head. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, oh, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Could you tell me about Siora? You are right there, and you let him talk about you like... Perhaps I wanted to hear... Perhaps, but I... Did you want anything... Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right. 
But for as long as we cannot prove it. We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the Earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Child, what can we do for you? Do you maintain your version of events regarding the pact with the Queen? Naturally. Mm, if I were you, I would have taken some time to think before replying. Really? Because we found the man who engraved this stone. A man that you wanted to silence. He gave us a piece of tree bark with the words the Queen had asked him to immortalize on the stone. You see? Destroying the stone was not enough to hide your lies. This is... regrettable. But apart from this child, we are amongst civilized people. If this village is so dear to you, then you know that it will not survive another assault from the Alliance without our help. Even if they don't know it, they need us. What would you say? If I offered you this hefty sum of money to forget about your unfortunate discovery. For the sake of the village, of course. As despicable as this agreement may seem, my colleagues are not entirely wrong. This village has suffered a lot from its first battle against the Alliance. Having allies would allow them to hold their ground. Don't count on me to support your lies. That is regrettable, Your Excellency. Because of you, these poor children will be slaughtered by the Alliance. And we were told that you were receptive to the Light. How do you think that he will judge you? And what will Teleme think of a foreign diplomat sabotaging the mission of their priests? I cannot believe these mind shakers tried their lies on you. Let's go see Azeld without delay. We must tell her that they lied and chased these men away from our village. Siora, what do you... Is that... Yes. We were you your... We were see, mother and I... I... You lied... Me. But... By lying, you the entire you do we are very well. We're <sighs> thank you, 
on all Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lo- Yes, Siora. I will need you. Of course. Green blood, my friend. Do you need some? I must leave. Karanz, could you help me once more? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral, and I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Of course. I'd be happy to be by your side. Let's go. Siora, Asir, Bertir, what do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the earth, Iseld. It is high time we did. I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we can start the ritual. Maybe in life you can protect me in this battle! May the shadow engulf our enemies!
something's wrong. Normally, you would hear the birds singing in this place. What do you mean? And yet everything seems normal to me. There. Tenlands. This is not their natural habitat at all. We cannot leave them here. So close to the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. We cannot let these carnivores roam so close to my mother's remains. <laughs> trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of this ceremony. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Ziora.
you see anything you would like to exchange? Do you need something? How did you know that those missionaries were lying? After all, given the situation, your mother could have wanted to form an alliance. I knew my mother well. We were close. She would never have renounced her beliefs to forge an alliance. Understand. However, couldn't she have renounced it in hope of protecting her daughters? Perhaps. But she knew us just as well as we knew her. And she knew that we'd rather die in battle than renounce our beliefs. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. We have all that we need. Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet. And then, you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in the ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet, and then you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in the ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? It is on this stone altar that we will... We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet, 
And then you will have done everything you could to help me. Your presence. This is how. There. Everything is in place. Thanks again, Honor Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh, these rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Karantz, do you need something? I must pass the trial of water. Do you know anything about it? I have heard it talked about. It is a trial that all must pass if they wish to become the High King. One says that the trial reveals the true personality of those who pass it. My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Mm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Anything else? Why are you and your sister so different? If you're talking about physical differences, they're linked to the fact that Iseld is not on all Manawi. When we were little, we were perfectly identical. But our tempers were always different. I have no trouble believing it. And I'm glad that out of the two sisters, it is the gentler one who is by my side now. Gentler? Really? The lion soldier on the battlefield would not have agreed. Anything else? 
What do you intend to do now? Will you become the Donegad of your clan again? I will most likely do it, but not now. I still have a lot to discover by your side. I'm very glad to be able to enjoy your presence a while longer. Thank you for your kindness, Son Almanawi. I am also happy to be with you too. Anything else? I must leave you. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed. And there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Mm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. sleeping potion on it, they'd fall asleep. You did it. They're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight.
you were freezing and you had this empty stair. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then, the sun warmed me. And suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Here, this looks like a snowflake. Snow or maybe ice. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. On this stone, the sun is visible. This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. I already lit this candle. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle. Need a bit of practice. <sighs> May the enlightened help us. Uh, you were freezing. Yes. Exactly like the light. Tell us. I was in the sky. I was high up and it was getting... I fell to the ground and spun. And suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. This stone is blackened, eaten away. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Here, this looks like a snowflake. This stone bears the image of a storm. On this stone, the sun is visible. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire, I'm certain. Need a bit of practice. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi, and a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. 
one of the faces of Einar Mir Frichtemann. Dear to mad on all Manawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tear Fridi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence, you avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enonmil Frichtemann now? To present him with my request. If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warned you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince him as well. Where can I find him? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan, and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes. I heard about your loss, Siora. And the worst, Tirse. Mourning is a difficult time to pass. And the worst, Tirse. Thank you, Glyndon. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I have already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the mall of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaixe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendan. Kwa Awalam said. I hope that you will find him.
Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams. From men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding. Like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You were dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The Islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Donegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, milady. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off. And I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into again? I am sorry, milady. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But, that's a question for your superiors. Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, milady.
This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope the Donegal and your cousin survived the fight. Search the area. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what happened here. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. The tents are lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Our soldiers were attacked by surprise and... Animals were amongst the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies, and no sign of the presence of Constantine or Katasak. Perhaps they were in another place, and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the area and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Minawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. But there are bodies. And without a doubt, there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly to the end. Oh, neither Constantine nor Katasak are amongst them. The crater. Without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened and many fell during the fight. But a group escaped down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. who got away fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. were torn to pieces. Animals again? Or something else? More signs of an explosion. Can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only corpses of our own men. Where could these other soldiers have come from? 
More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? There are footprints. Only a handful made it up here. on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantin or Katazak. were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. But what could have happened here? I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge be in some way linked to this attack? That makes no sense. These vials look familiar. Kadasak used the very same to stock his potions. He came all the way here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine. What have you gotten yourself into again? Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantin and Katazak definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless... he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he can now apply leverage to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. Regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. Perhaps we could return to Wenchevier in order to learn more. Katazak may have returned there. His Voglendig might be able to tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers participated in the combat. Or at least the end of it. They must have some stories to tell us. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katazak is a good man. But the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That is true. But I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantin is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay.
colonials. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? De Sade. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, milady? I am looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive, wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like, but me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Captain, my name is Afra. you might remember me. I passed by this outpost with my fellow scholars. The Lost Expedition, yes. I remember. Her Excellency was able to... extract us from the situation we found ourselves in. Her Excellency has powers that I do not possess. I'm casting no stones at you. You are isolated and without resources, and understandably a bit angry. You have the feeling that the powerful of this world have abandoned you, and you want to make them pay. But a life hangs in the balance. We must save him. <sighs> You were right. I will tell you everything I know. One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I am sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier 
No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Lady Morange tells me that a delegation from the Devesp family just landed on the island. From the look on your face, I take it their arrival is not good news. Are they that bad? Their name was given to a deadly poison, the Draft of Devesp. It's highly regarded among assassins, so there's good reason to worry. We should hasten to get back to New Serene.
Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days, and we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Konstantin Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I, I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. Uh, rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes. It's best I leave you now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. I've heard stories of your exploits. Thank you for all you've done. It's unusual for us to be offered aid by a Renaixe. It seems my Tiern was right. You are on Ol Menawi. How can I help? Katasak has disappeared. Would you have an idea as to where he went? What? But my Tiern followed you to help you. How would I know where to find him? I don't know exactly what happened, but he took my cousin to a particular place. A place to perform a ritual. Their escort was attacked, decimated by beasts and by magic. And my cousin and Katasak have disappeared. And you believe that the Tiern has taken your cousin and killed his soldiers? Your heart must beat in shadow to believe that the man who offered you his hand only did so in order to better betray you. Wait. This is not what my friend wanted you to hear. Perhaps they were wounded. And your master wanted to take Constantine to a safe haven to heal him. 
We must find them at all costs. Wherever they are, they most certainly need help. Forgive me, Donegan. Your words are true. I spoke without thinking. But I do not know how I can help you. There may be a way. I found these vials of potion on the battlefield. Do they belong to your master? They could very well, but let me see them closely. No, they are not his. This potion does not seem like any of those my master prepares. I do not know this smell. The plants used to make it do not come from here. Another Donegad must be implicated, but none that I know would attack Katasach. May the trees protect us. Who would attack the water that heals? The earth that feels? They must be in grave danger. Yes. I sincerely hope that we will find them. That they are alive and well. I must go. I need to continue my investigations. When you have discovered anything, let me know. I have to go. Hello, soldier. Better. Could you tell? We were we so dozens of. Flip. There was practice. I came to. I thought I dragged myself here. I'm going. You shouldn't. That's it. yes. I'll have a word. Excellency, I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man, and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack, and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good woman, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency.
Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who was protecting him. Katasak, one of your greatest Donegad. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasak. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasak, and a worst, Tire. He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantin. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him, to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there. ...and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body... ...you will pay for this offense with your life. Body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Donegad, to have doubted your loyalty. And even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or musket shot. The main wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the extent that the skin has been torn, and the ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Kadazak bore the brunt of this attack of incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. 
I can only imagine one thing that would have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we are tracking a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned? Or angered by what happened to Katazak? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives. Your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same. There is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hachadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Hello, Mev. Renoixi, why have you come here again? I've come to ask for your help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken. And I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on the body of Katasak the Donegad. 
Gatasach is dead. Under Vorshtire. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared. Taken, according to a witness. And Katazak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth. Only the Nadaig Manemen have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. Will you leave him alive as well? What do you mean? You let the one who tried to kill me go. That is true. But I can't yet tell you what I will do to the one responsible for this. At least we will have a chance to find Constantin. Because it is your true reason to act upon this, no? <sighs> Whatever your reasons deep down, I too would like to understand. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinol Minawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, Find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. In that case, let's go together to the ritual site. The place of the attack is not far from Duren's camp. Very well. I'll follow you.
recognize this weapon. It's Catasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. The moon is high. We may start. Take your place. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al frangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Bara vridenan tahanemo kwate grenfem, linkui damda renaute da hodogs. Lemat, de tahawan kloisam, de talugedon velam. De ta ragam buledam. De ta tamenam reloidan. A de ta lamen kante bij dam. En an telam ver frak dan go. Katasak! Help me! Please! Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasach. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. <laughs> I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. 
Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Vinbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me where they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasakh. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Mev. What do you seek? I am in need of your help, Dedra. You have done great deeds for the Senja and I have not forgotten. So speak. I am listening. I seek Vinbar, your High King. I know you were among those who last saw him. Do you know where he can be found? The last time that I saw him, we were united in council at Dorhad Genedu. We needed to decide what to do about you, the Renoikse. And we could not come to an agreement. Ulan spoke about all we could supposedly learn from you and obtain from you. 
Donka spoke of maintaining a balance so nothing would change, and of course, Bloodnid and I spoke of battle. Vinbar remained unconvinced. He did not like you, but he feared the fighting would scar our island. He decided to go to the heart of the oil in order to hear the counsel of Enol Milfrichtiman. He told us that this retreat from the world would take time, and I have not seen him since. He is still there. No. That was a very long time ago. Speak to those close to him, in Wenshavar, in his village. Wherever he has chosen to disappear, he would have gone there first. Thank you, Dedra. Birst Tirto Mud on Almanawi. Esquetu. Hello. I'm sorry, but I do not speak your language. Really? Then you are a Renaigse. I have never met one with the bond. Might I do something for you? What can you tell me about your village? 
Wenshavar means the water of the peaks in our language. The sky is our roof, the mountain our cradle, and the birds our companions. They offer us their feathers that we weave with wool to make clothing that is appreciated by the Donegada. And also, of course, it is the village that has given birth to the one chosen for our Hoi King for many cycles. Anything else? What can you tell me about the High King? You must know him well. He is a great Donegad. Wise, just, and through him, the En On Mil Frictimen makes their voice be known. But he has been gone for several moons. What the mountain gives us, sometimes it takes away. And I, for one, believe that the mountain has taken him back. Anything else? Tell me about Sarah. She is a ferocious warrior. And like I told you, she is the Menundanem, the companion of the Hoi King. They gave themselves one to the other many cycles ago, and their bond is very strong. Perhaps that is why she has left. Because she no longer could bear his absence. Anything else? I am looking to find Vinbar, the High King of Tirfredi, and I was told that he was born in this village. He disappeared after visiting the heart of the island. But I was hoping someone here might know where he is hiding. You should speak with Sarah. She is the companion of our king. Where might I find her? I do not know. She left the village and I have not seen her in several days. Anything else? Goodbye. What hour am I It is rare to see Renaixe here. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about your village? Wenshevar is a place of peace and meditation. The troubles with Renaixe are far from here. We weave feathers and we do not interfere with the problems on the plains. It seems strange that one of your own became High King. It was because of his wisdom that he was chosen. In a time where those from the faraway islands were not yet here. Anything else? You must know the High King, Binbar. What can you tell me about him? He was one of the greatest Donegada. Wise amongst the wise. But the arrival of the Renaixe troubled him. He was afraid that you would be like the people of the sea. He traveled the island far and wide, saw the other kings and queens, and consulted the other Donegada. And then he spent more and more time speaking with En on Mil Frichtimen. He moved away from us, until we hardly saw him at all. Anything else? You seem to be close to Sarah. Could you tell me about her? She is my friend. She is a great warrior. One of the village's greatest protectors. But her love for Vimbar is stronger than our friendship and stronger than her duties to the village. I am afraid for her, Renaixe. Afraid of what she might do in order not to lose him, because she is untamable. And when she makes her mind about something, she does not change it. Anything else? I'm looking for High King Vinbar. I know that he disappeared after having visited the heart of the island. But someone here in his village might know where he went after that. If anyone knows, it would be Sarah. 
But you will not find her here. Anything else? Would you know where I could find Sarah? She left to follow Vimbor. She wanted the mountains to take her as well. What do you mean? We don't know if Renaixe could understand. Our High King is on Olmenawi, and the Donegad. His bond with the mountain is very strong. Even stronger now that he speaks with the En Olmil Frichtimen. Do you mean to say that he is becoming one of those giant creatures? This phenomenon is truly incredible. I would so like to understand how it works. Seda knew that the mountain would take him back, and she wanted the mountain to take her as well. She went to attempt to bond herself to it. She sought the cavern of knowledge. We haven't seen her since. She might have succeeded. Anything else? Where is this cavern of knowledge located? We don't know. The caverns of knowledge are the concern of the Donegada. Anything else? Thank you for your help. Well, Aulam said. Might I do something for you? I heard talk about a cavern of knowledge. It is a place where the Donegada go, within the earth. They hear the voices of those that went before them, and they learn. There are some on Tiafradi. The closest to our village is found to the northeast of here. But the entrance is sealed, hidden. It is a sacred place. A place for only the Donegada. Anything else? Goodbye. What well, I want